many people here on a Saturday morning and to know that uh, we're all interested in all the things we're going to talk about today. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Smith Yeoman. I'm one of the directors of Happy City St. John's and the facilitator and convener of this first panel, which I'm super excited about, so we're going to just jump right into that. Um, and uh, I'm going to start by introducing the panelists. And um, then uh, I have a very short slideshow of my own, just to make a few kind of opening remarks about the topic of this first session, which is um, accessible, accessibility and active travel in St. John's. Uh, and, and more general, but I think we're here to talk about the city. It's Happy City St. John's. Um, so I'm going to show a very short slideshow, make a few kind of opening remarks about the topic to set the scene. Um, and I also have a statement from Ryan Green, who is the uh, president of Bike NL. Uh, short statement because he wasn't able to come, so I'll also read you that. Oh, you're right. Oh, I meant to ask, is Ryan here? But I almost thought you would have made it, but it's so great to see you. It's so great that you're here, so you can make your own statement if you want to. <laughs> All right, I'll right, read the statement. Um, and let's see, was there something else I meant to say? No, I think that's all I had to say. Um, so I'm actually going to um, just read the bios that the panel participants sent to me because they, I love the way they wrote their own bios and uh, they are a wonderfully diverse panel. What I wanted to do, I put this panel together. Can, I, can you hear me in the back before I go on? Put your hand up if you can't. No, it's good. I usually have a loud voice. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, you can. Okay, good. I usually don't have trouble with my voice. So, um, so uh, and when I say diverse, I, they, I'm sure they're diverse in various ways, but what I was looking for was people who get around the city in diverse ways, but not with a private vehicle. And in that sense, as well as others, they are wonderfully diverse. So I'll read their bios to you to introduce them. Um, Jess Barrett, uh, yes, thank you, <laughs> is uh, a married mother of two children, age three and five. She has been car free since 2014, not a very easy thing to do in this city. Since then, she has been getting around the metro area by walking, busing, and biking in St. John's and Mount Pearl. In that time, she's been a student, a full-time early childhood educator, taking maternity leave with an infant, and once again with an infant and a toddler, all without a car. She is currently studying with College of the North Atlantic by distance and provides childcare to her children throughout the day. In her ever shrinking free time, she enjoys sewing, reading, hiking, and camping. Uh, Bahar Hyatt, you don't put your hand right up to be <laughs> back to see. Um, recently completed a master's degree at MUN and started working at the Internationalization Office, also at MUN, as an international student advisor. And MUN is so lucky to have her. I've known her for a long time. So they couldn't have a more welcoming person in that role. Um, in that role, she provides assistance, education, and support to students who are seeking to live off campus and is also part of a team working on a government-funded project to provide intercultural training sessions to employers across Newfoundland and Labrador. She's interested in social injustices related to gender, race, and ability. Her master's research explored the importance of understanding weight-based oppression in multicultural counseling education. She's originally from Iran, and in her free time, she works on her blog in Farsi on fat shaming and fat phobia. She enjoys reading poetry and also loves swimming and exploring local cafes. And the reason, uh, in terms of our panel, I invited Bahar in, in part because of her experiences as a new, a person who arrived newly from a different city and country, and I wanted to talk about experiences of newcomers trying to get around the city. Uh, although you can talk about whatever you want, I invited them to <laughs> prepare their own presentations as they wanted to on the topic. Anne Malone was born in St. John's and has lived in Ward 2 all her life. She worked in administration in the arts community until she experienced a catastrophic sight loss in 2008. Since then, 
She has been navigating the very inaccessible environment of St. John's with a guide dog and has been advocating for disability accessibility since 2012 with the Social Justice Co-op and as a speaker, including a TEDx talk in 2015 called License to Beg. An amazing talk, I heard and saw it, maybe some of you did too. And as a writer in Voices from the Shore, Diverse Voices of Newfoundland and Labrador, 2021, Breakwater. In 2021, Anne was a candidate at large for St. John's City Council on a disability rights platform. Anne continues to advocate and engage in actions to promote the human rights of people with disabilities in Newfoundland and Labrador. A. Powell, at the far end, <laughs> is a queer trans, <laughs> oh sorry, just, oh, one, just the A from the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a recent thing came to light, I was like, oh, that works. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is a queer trans non-binary artist, Buddhist, feminist advocate, single parent of a seven-year-old whirlwind who they're often chasing in their wheelchair. They are a trauma therapist who navigates life with a physical disability, ocular migraines, depression, anxiety, ADHD, CPTSD, and PTSD. Over their 48 years on Earth, A has used multiple ways to move within the city of St. John's, as well as in Aberdeen, Scotland, and Vienna, Austria. A has used just their body, the metro bus, a pedal bike, taxis, both non-wheelchair accessible and wheelchair accessible, different cars, wheelway paratransit, as well as go bus paratransit systems. Each method has come with its own challenges as well as benefits. And finally, and closest to me, Luke Quinton is a cyclist who cycles with a child as well, uh, I believe, oh, yeah. um, and a writer and audio producer from St. John's who returned to Newfoundland after a decade in Austin, Texas. Uh, he wrote NL, Newfoundland and Labrador. I, I never know, I guess when it's the province we say Newfoundland and Labrador, but he's here. Um, his documentaries have appeared on the podcast 99% Invisible and Snap Judgment, and on radio for the BBC, CBC, and NPR. He's written for the Globe and Mail, Maclean's, Dwell, and the CBC. Luke currently serves as president of the NL Historic Trust and is a co-founder of Revision YYT. Revision YYT and some of his documentaries focus on urban design and building a better St. John's. So uh, I'm just so delighted to have all these panelists here. Maybe we can give them a hand. And, um, okay, so uh, each panelist will speak for about 10 minutes. And panelists, we don't have to be super strict, but I do want to leave some time for discussion because I think people in the audience will have lots of interesting things to say as well. So when you're getting close to 10 minutes, I'm going to, if I don't catch your eye, I'm going to give you a little yellow thing. I'm not going to say anything because you don't have to stop on the dot, but just so you know you're getting close to your 10 minutes. Um, and uh, one thing that A suggested to me when we were talking a couple of days ago, and I didn't warn you of this in advance, so it's optional, but I would encourage you to, uh, towards the end of your talk or at the end, to say, although I think all of us will be talking about challenges and difficulties because there are many in this city getting around the right car, but I would encourage you to end with either a positive experience, uh, a possible solution to a problem, or uh, perhaps your dream or what you would love to see, just so that we feel uplifted rather than overwhelmed. <laughs> so that's just a suggestion, but I'd love to hear your, your positive ideas more to balance as opposed to cover over. Yeah. Because <laughs> we can use the whole like, oh, we have to be positive, but then like, there's no, but just like, yeah, that balance of there is both. Yes, exactly. Not, yeah. not at all to cover over all the huge challenges of this. Exactly. Um, okay, so I have a quick little slideshow uh, of my own. And I just want to do this. I don't think it's up all the time. Uh, okay.
I know where the most go.